Hi everybody, welcome back to Sacred Body Studio. My name is Fabi. So let's start our mini yoga routine. So are you ready? We're gonna start sitting, but again, remember, if it's not comfortable this position, you can always lie down for the breathing. So the legs and crossing legs, we can keep our feet under the lower leg to make us um, more comfy for our knees, or we can keep one foot at the front of the other one. It will be more up to our knees, how it feels, and our hips. So let's start. So we are gonna start just a couple of breathing exercises to really bring us into the present moment and connect us with our body and our breath. Are you ready? So move your hands into your tummy, take a deep breath, exhale to your mouth with the sensation of fogging a glass. Inhale, exhale, inhale, Exhale, inhale, exhale. Remember that sensation of fogging a glass is contracting our epic lotus. It's called Ujjayi breath. It helps us to control the speed and the amount in the inhalation and exhalation. We can use it as well in the inhalation, the same sensation. So now we're going to do the same by keeping our mouth closed. As soon as you lose the sensation of contracting your jaw, just back again to exhale through your mouth and then after you close your mouth. So let's take a couple of breaths. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your nose with the sensation of fogging a glass. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Great, everybody. Now try to keep your deep breath the whole class. So are you ready? Right leg crossing at the front. We're going to move the arms to the front. And very easy, we're just going to inhale and exhale as we lean forward with the back straight, as far as we can go, open our arms. And we just go, inhale backwards, exhale forward. Let's go for nine, exhale, eight, exhale, keep your tummy in. Let's go seven, let's go six, Five, four, three, two, and the last one. Great. Now we're going to drop the hands and we're going to move the torso in circles. So first we lean onto the right side, lean forward other side and come back and then return side front other side and back and we keep going for nine we go all the circle and return nice keep your tummy engaged let's go for eight ah, feels good you will feel nice release and come back Let's go for a seven and back. Let's go for a six and back. Let's go five and back. Let's go four and back. That's good, it feels really nice. Let's go three, well done, and back. And let's go two and come back. And the last one. Oh, it really feels nice. And you can always let the head go as well a little bit. 
back to center. Move your knees together. We just sit in child pose, so we squeeze our legs towards the tummy. If it's difficult to hold the legs, you can always move your hands at the back and help your torso to go towards your legs. Let's hold for four breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three. Use your feet by pressing, it, pressing them against the ground. Two. And just one more. Lift the head. Extend the legs at the front. We go Dandasana. So we move the arms up. If it's not possible to stray our lower back, you can always use your hands at the back or you can slightly bend the knees. Arms move up. Good. Reaching up. We hold four breaths. Push your feet gently forward. Flex your feet. Let's go for three. I always close the eyes because it really, it really connects me with my body. So try it anytime. Let's go one more deep breath. Inhale. Exhale. Bend your knees and lean forward. If you have the full forward bend, no need to bend the knees. But if we are far away from the thighs, bend your knees. And we hold our feet. We hold here for four. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three, two, and just one more. Relax your shoulders and raise your torso. Oh, it feels great. Now drop your arms. Now we're going to cross the left leg at the front and we're going to repeat everything. Remember, your feet can be under your lower leg or one foot in front of the other one. Are you ready? Remember, palms together, inhale, exhale, let's go, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, last one. Drop your arms. Now we start on the left, lean forward, other side, come back. Really feel that you are moving from your waist. Of course, your tummy is. Well. Let's go for two. And come back. Let's go three. And come back. And let's go four. And back. Five. And back. Six and back seven and back eight and back and even it start to relax as well, just a simple movement. And let's go. And back. And last one, everybody. Sideways. And come back. Good. Back to center. Move your knees together. Sit child pose. We hug the legs, drop the head. We hold for four. Relax your shoulders. Three. Two, and one more. Lift the head, extend the legs at the front. Again, we can use the back, the hands at the back to strain more our spine, our back, or we can move the arms up. We hold four breaths. Flex me your feet. 
for four, three, two, reaching up. Just one more. Lean forward, but remember if we are way too far away from the thighs, we're going to bend the knees. And we just hold down for four. Three. Two. And just one more. And we raise our torso. Ah, oh, we feel completely different after these stretches. Let's move on to all fours. So from all four, remember shoulders above your hands, hips above your knees, index fingers pointing forward, and use your fingertips. Remember that you always can have a look to the common mistakes in yoga to help us to understand how to avoid the pain and the wrist when you are in arms weight position. Let's go on to cat and cow. So we go. Inhale, we tuck the pelvis in, chin to chest. Exhale, move your hips forward, arching your back. Inhale, cat. And exhale, cat. Let's go for two. And exhale. One more. And exhale. Back onto neutral. We're going to curl the toes under. We're going to go down dog. But this time we're going to work a little bit on our strength. So from downward dog, we're going to lift the right leg. And we're going to inhale, move the leg in, come to high plank. Exhale, move it away. Just going to go for four more. Inhale, press with your fingertips against the ground to don't collapse the weight on your wrist. Let's go for three, and back, two, and back, just one more, and back. We change the legs, other leg, in, just for five, out, four, three, out, two, out, and just one more, and now we drop our knees back onto the ground, and from here we're just going to go into poppy, so the hips above your knees, move your hands forward, let the chest go down, if our forehead is reaching the ground, you can move the face to the front just to help us to go deeper with your chest. We hold for four. Inhale, press with your hands on the ground. Three. Two. Just one more. Slowly we move back again onto all fours and we go all the thing all the way down on the child pose. I love this shark fin position because it helps us to stretch our arms so you can always try it if you prefer another position of your arms. We hold for four. Three. Two. And one. We release our arms. We move back again onto all fours. We're going to lie down on our tummy. We're going to extend the right arm beside the shoulder. We're going to bend the left leg and we're going to go all the way onto reclining wild thin. So let the foot go all the way as far as you can. And then you move the left arm just behind your back if it's possible. If not, just rest it beside your body. And we're just going to hold here for four breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three. Two. 
One more. We release. Now we're going to repeat other side. So we extend the left arm. We bend the right leg. We go all the way. And this arm can be here on the side or at the back. And we just stretch here for four. Four. Three. Two. And just one more. We release. Now move your tummy again onto the ground. And we're going to move our arms just beside our body, palms facing down. And then from here, we're just going to go half salavasana. So we keep the feet on the ground. Keep your big toes together if it's possible. Press gently with your feet against the ground and your hands. And we're just going to lift gently the chest bone. Now be careful that you don't arch your neck. So from here, what we are going to do, we're going to go just keeping the neck aligned with the spine. Doesn't matter if we don't lift too much. Don't worry. Still, tiny lift helps us to strengthen our back muscles. We hold four breaths. For four. Three. Two, and just one more. Release your chest, move your hands just beside you, chest, and push your body up. We go all the way up onto child pose. This time we keep the arms at the front, we hold for four. Three, two, and just one more. Come back again onto all fours. We're going to lie down again on your tummy just for the neck release. So we just let the arms back onto the salavasana position. Let the face rest on one side. And we're just going to release here our neck for four breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three. And exhale. Let's go two. And just one more. We move the face other side to release the other side of the neck. We hold four breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three. Two. And just one more. This is really nice in the upper back and the neck. And move your face to down and move your hands close to your chest. Push your body up all the way. And we're just going to move our hands behind our, our legs. Now you can keep your uh, palms flat or your fists on the ground, whatever you prefer. Now you cannot go all the way down, just stay as far as you can go holding the ground. And we just, from here, we lift our pelvis, stretch our thighs, open the chest, we hold four breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Let's go for the three. Two, and just one more. We release, we keep our bum on our heels so that we stay in this position. We move the arms up, we stretch towards to the left or right side, wherever you feel comfy. We hold for four. Three, two, and just one more. Back to center, we change, other side, let's go for four, 
It's really good. Let's get three. You cannot sit down in this position. You can always sit down on your bum. Last one. And release. Now we're gonna twist to us to the left side. <laughs> and we just hold here. Hold four. Release your neck as well. Three. Two. And just one more. Back to center. Let's go other side. And again for four. Three. As much as you can twist from your waist, keep your tummy in. One more. Great, everybody. Let's go on to all fours and the last down dog. Crawl the toes under, down dog. We can go inhale if your heels by curling the toes under, exhale, heels down. Let's go for the three and down. Uh, two down and just one more down drop your knees on the ground cross your legs and if you have time you can come back to the beginner just click in the chapter or you can go into the description below to go into the chapter and if you have time to go let's go with our last three breath hands prayer position inhale arms up exhale through your mouth arms down again inhale and exhale just one more inhale and exhale thank you for joining us and great that you are just enjoying the benefits of yoga see you in the next video remember that you can find us on instagram as the sacred body studio and also in facebook namaste